So, so obviously we've been here since uh, 1.30 uh, yesterday afternoon. This is going on, you know, we're at uh, 4.30 in the morning here the next day. It's been a long night. Uh, we, we searched a huge area. We were able to pinpoint down to uh, a particular location. We found evidence that the, and indications that the suspect was at that location. Uh, we made contact with him. Uh, we, we had telephone conversations and dialogue back and forth. And, and at that point, uh, negotiations got to a point where we had to take action. Uh, we introduced gas into the house in hopes to, to flush him out. Um, he refused to come out, uh, multiple uh, volleys of gas. So, so that being said, uh, we, we, uh, he, he still hasn't come out. Our, our last contact with, with him was about 45 minutes ago. Um, there is a fire. That being said, the fire has not engulfed the whole, the whole home. It's mostly in, uh, relegated to the porch area. This appears to be a car a car stop that, that obviously went went wrong at one point. So uh, and led to, to two officers being shot. He's he's already shown us that he's willing to stay for the long long haul on this. Uh, we've put a lot of tear gas in there. We've had numerous negotiations with him and he's told us that he's willing to, to go the long haul and that's what we're doing. So there's no rush for us to go in there uh, to put anybody else in jeopardy. We're willing to wait and make this come to a safe conclusion. This was a, a house that was a house of opportunity for him to flee, to hide from police. Um, the, the people that own this house, as far as we know, have nothing to do with this man.